Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about grid connected PV system with the CEPIC converter and incremental conductance in PPT. So this is Sumling model we created for a grid connected PV system. So this system uh, can generate around 100 kilowatts. So this is a PV panel. The PV panel having 10 series connected model and 47 par parallel strings so single panel power is 213.15 uh, watts the open circuit voltage is 36.3 volt the voltage at maximum power point is 29 volt and short circuit current of the panel is 7.84 amps and current at maximum power point is 7.35 amps when we are operating a PV panel with the different irradiation so here you can see the PV and IV characteristics of the consider PV array so for 1000 watts per meter square the power the maximum power is 100.2 kilowatts at operated at 290 volt for 500 watts per meter square the power is 50.75 kilowatts and operated at 293.3 volt for 100 watts per meter square the power from that PV array is 9.72 kilowatts and, and operate at 280.2 volt so this is a PV and IV cat 6 of the consider PV array with the change in irradiation condition and this PV array going to connect going to connect it to the inverter via this converter so here we are using SEBIC converter ok the SEBIC con converter going to be designed based upon the power rating of the PV array so here power, <coughs> power rating we are having around 100.2 kilowatts ok and then input voltage of the the converter is around 290 volt and output voltage of the converter we are going to consider as 600 volt ok so based upon this parameter we have to design this L1 L2 and then C1 and C2 and here we have the incremental conductance in VPT so here we are going to measure the PV voltage and current that going to be processed via <coughs> incremental conductance in VPT so inside the incremental conductance in VPT here the condition right so here we need to measure the PV power change in voltage change in power change in current and then here we are going to calculate uh, another parameter nothing but m m nothing but absolute value of change in power divided by change in voltage so initially here we need to check the value of m whether m is less than 0 0.05 then uh, that mean uh, uh, it, it going to be considered as uh, the PBR already operated at uh, maximum power point condition so we have to maintain the duty cycle is uh, previous duty cycle ok so no need to change anything during this condition if the if suppose the m value is not less than 0 0.05 then we have to check the, the condition of change in voltage <coughs> if change in voltage is equal to 0 then we need to check the condition the change in current so both the change in voltage and change in current equal to 0 then uh, already PV is operated at uh, maximum power point condition so no need to change the duty cycle just you have to maintain the duty cycle as a previous duty cycle if suppose the change in current is not equal to 0 then you have to check the change in current whether it is greater than 0 or not if it is greater than 0 so we need to decrement the duty cycle by using this formula d equal to d volt minus m into delta t ok or else we need to increment the duty cycle by using this formula you have to uh, adjust the voltage of the PV array in order to get the maximum power from the PV panel 
if suppose this uh, the change in voltage is is not equal to zero then we need to check this condition so here we need to check the condition of incremental conductance so di by dv is equal to minus i by v if it is di by dv equal to minus i by v then on the pv panel is operated at maximum power point condition so the no need to change the duty cycle <coughs> we have to maintain the duty cycle which is equal to previous duty cycle if suppose the di by dv is greater than minus i by v then we need to decrement the duty cycle by using this formula or else you have to increment the duty cycle by using this formula in order to adjust the PV or e voltage in order to get the maximum power from the PV panel. So after adjust, uh, after modification of duty cycle, we need to check the duty cycle with the maximum maximum or minimal, minimum limit. If suppose it exceeds the maximum or minimum limit, then we need to make the duty cycle that, that should be follow the previous duty cycle and then the overhead the detail here, right? The current instant duty cycle voltage power current will be overrated with the, the previous instant duty cycle voltage power and the current. So this will be keep on executing in order to get the maximum power from the PVRI. And then finally here we are getting the duty cycle. The duty cycle going to be the compare with the <coughs> SATU waveform in order to get the pulse for the semiconductor. So this pulse will be control this. IGBT in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel and then this output of uh, semi converter can be connected to this inverter voltage source inverter and then the voltage source inverter can be connected to the grid so here we are having grid around 400 volt with the frequency of 50 hertz and then you can be connected via this LCL filter and then this voltage source inverter can be controlled by means of feed forward decoupling control concept. So for that we need to measure the DC link voltage otherwise called we need to measure the, the output of the semi converter output voltage of the semi converter and then it going to be <coughs> compared with the reference voltage so already i told right so here we need to maintain at 600 volt so that's why we are going to compare that dc link voltage with the 600 and it going to be processed via pa controller this pa controller uh, output will be considered as a id reference okay so this id reference going to be compared with the id so id and iq nothing but uh, the direct and uh, cordage axis current of the grid current okay so that means grid current otherwise called we can call it as the inverter current okay so here we need to measure the inverter current <coughs> so that inverter current will be converted into uh, dq not form by using a power transformation okay in order to apply this power transformation power transformation we need omega t so for that we have to use PLL concept not to generate the omega t okay so here we have a conversion uh, VABC to VD VQ and here we have another conversion IABC to IDIQ. So here we are applying that uh, the power transformation concept. Okay. So <coughs> this voltage controller will provide the ID reference. So the ID reference can be processed and compared with the actual ID of that uh, inverter current and it will be processed by this PA controller. And then here we are going to apply that uh, feed forward uh, decoupling uh, concept for a uh, D axis control. Okay. And then here we are going to only uh, sending the real power from the inverter uh, the PV to grid okay via this inverter and the semi converter. So here we are making IQ reference equal to zero, and then again it's going to be compared with the IQ that means uh, IQ current of the inverter and process via PA controller and then here we are applying that uh, the feed forward decoupling control concept of the q axis current <coughs> okay and finally we are getting here that uh, voltage control voltage in the form of vd and vq so they are going to be converted into abc by using inverse power transformation and then it going to be compared with the, the triangular wave for generating the pulse so this pulse going to be used to for control this inverter in order to get the power from the PV and then inject it to the grid okay 
So this is the working of this model. Now I am going to explain the, the simulation result of this model. So first, so here I am going to change the irradiation and then I am going to see the result the uh, see the result of the system. So here we create the irradiation change in irradi irradiation condition from time 0 to 0 0.4 we are going to maintain the irradiation equal to 1000 watts per meter square after 0.4 second the irradiation change to 800 uh, at from time 0.5 to 0.8 the irradiation maintained at 800 uh, after 0.8 second the irradiation change to 500 from 0.9 to 1.2 the irradiation maintained at 500 so after uh, at to 1.2 the irradiation change to 500 to 300 from 1.3 to 1.6 second the irradiation maintained at 300 watts per meter square okay so for this uh, situation you have to check the result of the system so i am going to simulate this model and then i am going to explain the result so here uh, this is the result of pv power so for 1000 watts per meter square here we are getting around 100 kilowatt power right and then this is the grid voltage and the grid current and this is the grid power so here we are getting around 100 kilowatt power that means whatever power we are generating from the pv is going to be sent to the grid okay and also i am going to ex that mean expand this one so here we are seeing that the, the current and the voltage are sinusoidal okay after 0.4 second right what happened the <coughs> the radiation change from 1000 watts per meter square to 800 so because of that uh, the pv power uh, changed to 80 kilowatts okay and then you can see that small deviation that means the power reduction during that uh, change in irradiation also here also you can see that after 0.8 second, second the irradiation change from uh, 800 to 500 so here you can see that we are getting around uh, 50 kilowatts at time of 1.2 seconds right the irradiation change from uh, 500 to 300 so because of that we are getting around uh, 300 kilowatts okay so and also here you can see that because of uh, the reduction in the pv power okay that current also the injection uh, injecting current to the grid also going, going to be reduced right like that right so you can see that so current and the amplitude also reduced so that means so whatever power we are generating from the pv power is is sent to the grid and also here you can see that um, this uh, the grid power so here also you can uh, see here right the power will be reducing because of uh, reduction in the radiation right so this is a result of uh, the grid connected uh, PV system with the semi converter and the incremental conductance uh, MBBT algorithm so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye